AutoVib handles vibrato control automatically for instruments with a separate vibrato control with tools to customize the range and to shape the curve it draws in the piano roll. You can select progressive mode to have the vibrato continually fade up whenever you're holding a note. Using a MIDI capture tool like Grumpy Monkey's free utility note taker, you can print the vibrato as a MIDI region if you want to make further tweaks. AutoVib allows you to get the most out of your instrument's vibrato control while also being able to work faster and simplify your workflow. Okay, let's walk through the interface. So this is how AutoVib looks when you first open it. First thing we need to do is choose a MIDI CC number that controls vibrato. Here we'll choose CC21, which is what Spitfire uses for all of its instruments. And make sure not to skip this step where the plugin won't have any effect. So out of the box, ModWheel is controlling vibrato. ModWheel is the silver ring and vibrato is the gold. Using these selectors on either side of the rings, we can control the bottom of the range and the top of the range. Let's set those to zero and 127. And now the vibrato is doing exactly what the mod wheel does. But we can change the vibrato to say, start halfway up. And now that remaining half is mapped across the entire mod wheel. Another thing we can control is how rapidly the vibrato moves as compared to the mod wheel. Using the vib curve, we can have vibrato start at zero, but fade up pretty fast. And this curve will be reflected in the piano roll if you were to print this out. And you could also use this to curve the opposite way. Moving on to the button on the right. Pressing this puts us in progressive mode. The vibrato becomes progressively more intense the longer you hold down any notes. And you can also have it reset each time you play a note. So instead of controlling with mod wheel, the vibrato is fading from the bottom of the range to the top of the range, and you can control how fast or slow this happens. Now, let's say you want a progressive vibrato, but you also want it to take into account how far you are up or down on the mod wheel. There's an option called bias. It lets the mod wheel influence the overall range. So if bias is at 100%, the range will slide down all the way until it hits the bottom, and slide all the way up until it hits the top. One important thing to note, by default, AutoVib will only recognize keys pressed within the normal key range, and this prevents key switches from interfering with the plugin. But you can also change this by clicking on the gear and then changing the range.